Today's question, what is financial discipline? From a personal development perspective, discipline is the ability to suppress diversionary desires in order to pursue a bigger goal. And therefore, financial discipline, drawn from the definition of discipline, is your ability to suppress diversionary desires of a financial nature or with financial implications in order to pursue and achieve bigger financial goals. In life generally, when you develop big goals, when you have something you are aiming at, it is normal that there will be diversionary desires, there will be some things coming from the sides promising you instant gratification, things coming to whisper to you and ask you, why should you be saving for a very long time for you to be able to do that which you have planned to do? Why can't you break into your savings account and go out with friends and enjoy today? There'll be voices whispering to you, asking you why you should be investing in a vehicle that is giving you returns that are not very big when you can pour your money into a certain scheme that has promised to triple your money so that you can achieve the same goals in three weeks or in three months. Every time you decide to set a budget and follow it and dictate where your money goes, there'll be those voices telling you that it is a tedious process. Why should you be subjecting yourself to this kind of torture? Why should you be taking yourself through this kind of, uh, of, of life? You have worked so hard to get your money. Why should you be working so hard to, 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 to set a budget and begin to follow it? Those will be voices that are diverting you from what you have decided to do, which is a good thing. Because the biggest challenge in the world of money management is not making money. It is dictating where your money will go. So diversionary desires are those desires that would come to tell you not to budget that will come to tell you not to save the way you have determined to save, not to invest the way you have determined to invest, not to spend your money the way you have determined to spend it. And so many of us begin to listen to those voices, begin to yield to those voices, and that's how we begin to break into our savings accounts, that's how we begin to kill our investments and begin to pour the money into scams and that's how we begin to find ourselves getting scammed and things like those so in life generally there will be those diversionary desires things that are calling you things that are telling you that you don't have to look that direction you need to look here and get satisfied instantly get gratification instantly now discipline financial discipline will be your ability to say no to those diversionary desires because your eyes are fixed to the bigger goal and you realize that the bigger goal is a bigger goal, just as I am calling it. You realize that if you are able to stay the course, if you are able to stay put until you achieve that particular goal, the enjoyment of that bigger goal, the enjoyment of that ultimate goal is bigger than what you are being promised today. It's unfortunate that many of us will yield to this other call for today's enjoyment at the expense of bigger and sustainable enjoyment in future if only we are able to resist instant gratification. So financial discipline will be your ability to resist, to suppress those diversionary desires, those voices that will be whispering into your ears, challenging you to forget about where you are going and begin to pick another path that looks like a shortcut, another path that looks like better than where you are going. That will be financial discipline. Thank you. Let's keep learning because you can do better. Of course, you can also ask your questions in the comment section of these videos or you can inbox any of our contacts as displayed on your screen. Subscribe, like, comment, and share. See you as we answer the next question.